Good evening, this is Channel 4 News. The headlines tonight. Police in London launch a double murder inquiry after body parts of two women are found in a bin. Flood warnings are stepped up as more heavy rain is forecast. And Down Under sees in the new year in style. Police have begun a double murder inquiry after the discovery of the mutilated body parts of a woman and a girl, possibly her daughter, in bin bags at the back of a pub in North London. Officers believe both were killed during the last week and have suspended rubbish collections in the area. Sue Turton reports. A homeless man rummaging for food made the horrific discovery. Part of the leg of a white woman believed to be in her 30s had been left in a bin behind a pub in North London. He took the remains to a nearby hospital where shop staff called the police. Officers searched the area and found another bin liner containing the torso of a girl thought to be as young as 14. Both bodies have been there for up to a week. Forensic tests are ongoing at this moment in time to identify if there's any relationship between the two victims. Um, there is the possibility it could be mother and daughter, but there again, the possibility it could just be friends or not even related at all. A more extensive police search uncovered yet more human remains this evening. The lower half of a torso and other body parts were found in carrier bags about 100 yards from the original find. Detectives are considering possible links to prostitution or organised crime. 74 flood warnings are in place across England and Wales tonight and more downpours are on the way. The South East, East Anglia, the North East and the Midlands are the worst affected areas. The emergency services have been inundated with calls, mostly from people with flooded properties. The Foreign Office says it's unwilling to pay compensation to the cricketing authorities if England's controversial World Cup match in Zimbabwe is cancelled. Jack Straw and Tessa Jowell are to meet the England and Wales Cricket Board in the new year to discuss the financial ramifications of a boycott. An Australian Air Force plane is to fly over three remote Pacific islands tomorrow after a powerful cyclone cut them off from the outside world. Cyclone Zoe hit the Solomon Islands of Tikopia, Fataka and Anuta on Sunday, severing all radio contact with the 1,300 people who live there. The Queen's New Year's Honours List is topped by ordinary citizens who've served the community in the face of extraordinary tragedy. The parents of murdered teenager Stephen Lawrence and the vicar of St Andrew's Church in Soham are also among those honoured. The Reverend Tim Alban Jones has been made an MBE for his work since his church became the focus of mourning for the murdered teenage girls Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. For more than 60 years, Nicholas Winton kept it secret that he'd smuggled more than 600 Jewish children from Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia to Britain. Now he has a knighthood. Other knighthoods have gone to some of Britain's most internationally renowned actors and filmmakers. Alan Bates, one of the original angry young men of British theatre and 60s film. My name is Gladiator. And the director Ridley Scott, whose blockbusters include Gladiator and Blade Runner. But the list is most memorable for honouring people like Neville and Doreen Lawrence, who've received OBEs for their continued work in community relations since their son's unsolved racist murder. The writer Mary Wesley, whose first novel was published when she was 70, has died at the age of 90. She wrote a string of bestsellers described as Jane Austen with sex. The chamomile lawn, based on her own wartime experience, and adapted for television was the first big success. On to the weather now, and the satellite shows a fair amount of cloud, but it will be with some breaks, giving some bright spells. Tomorrow, um, sorry, tonight will be a wet New Year's Eve, though, with sleet and even snow in parts. Temperatures will fall to minus five degrees Celsius. And tomorrow, there will be a rather wet start to 2003, with heavy downpours increasing the risk of flooding in parts. On higher ground, there could be some sleet and snow. Now, there's just four hours till midnight here, but the other side of the world has already seen in the new year. Spectacular fireworks on Sydney Harbour Bridge picked out the shape of a dove carrying an olive branch and the word peace. Well, that's it from Channel News for now. For now, we're back tomorrow at 5 to 8. From all of us here on the Channel 4 News team, we hope you have a very happy new year. Goodbye.